it don't matter what day, what time, what uh -uh. year. If it, it might take a year, it might take a day, it might take a week, but they go come back, baby girl. I'm letting you know, dudes can't never stay away, and that is the truth. Yep. So when you go get fine, don't yeah, get fine and stuff, and you look and they come back, baby. What you gonna tell them? No. Exactly, Peter. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Step T, and I'm back with another video. I know I've been slacking lately, but look, I'm here now. I got my sister, Emily. I'm in the building. Throw your weave in the air. Hey! Hey! But look, we're about to do a sister talk, and we're going to talk about how to get over uh, your... Your ex. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and so, basically, we're just going to talk to y'all about that. You know what it is. Um, no, if you're having no, problems no. with uh, trying to get you're over your like a baby ex, again, you, you know, know, period, all and that. You try to get back out there and get you a new little boo or whatever. I mean, maybe you don't want a new little boo, but if you are, you know, you're trying to get like, cute for the, you know. And you're just trying to get yourself together because you need to get back in a good headspace. Yes. We're going to be here. We're going to talk to y'all a little yourself, bit about that. Not for nobody else. Not for nobody else, period. Um, we also think about making a sister channel, so if you guys think we should do that, um, make sure you comment down below and tell us if you think we should make a sister channel. Let us know. Let us know. And make sure you do what? Like, comment, and subscribe. Period. Thank you. All right, let's get to the video. Uh Okay, you guys, so we're going to be talking about how to get over your ex. As you can see, I got my shirt on. Never be afraid of change, okay? So, what's it? I'm just playing. I know what it means. I ain't doing it. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> look, y'all, so first thing first, you got to get back into your baddie mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's how I know why I am. Why you gotta get all into your bed? I feel like first things first is with delete everything. I mean, like you can't no, cause that's like hard. I still have like I don't. This thing I, I mean, I get, but it's like you gonna be like, oh, I missed this. No, like <laughs> I just keep it as a memory. I don't know, I'm weird, but like. Some people are different. So you don't feel like you got But I think getting in your bad mode, like getting yourself together, making yourself feel good again, I feel like that's the first step. Like yeah, you said, like, it's the most important step. You want to make yourself feel good, so go get your hair done. done. Go get your nails done. Go get your makeup done. Go get your done. makeup done. Go work out. Go work out. out. Yes. yes. Working out is a good way to relieve stress. And people mm -hmm. think that it might be stressful to work out. And hang out with your friends. sometimes you it is. Yeah. But you know, uh -huh. going to work out really relieves a lot of stress. It like, is. especially if you're running on a treadmill, even though I haven't went on a treadmill in a really long time and I need to. I know, but I mean, I've been. Anyways. Yeah, you know, like, really working out and going to the gym, that's very good. Like, you know, that's a good way to do yeah. it. And hanging out with your friends, too. Yeah. If you hang out with your friends, it don't matter. Just be around your family. If you don't got no friends, like me, yeah. I don't got friends. So I hang out around my people. No, people you trust. You got friends. You hang around people you trust. And you just be sad, watch the sad movie with them or whatever, get all that stuff no, out. No, don't watch no sad movie. You want to watch all that comedy. Yeah, yeah we have to go to the club. I don't know. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> It's a club. But really, just work on yourself. You know, yeah. yourself. Feel beautiful again uh -huh. for yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's very hard to get over somebody. People yeah, try to get it's into hard. Small Especially place. if you've been in a relationship with them for a long time. Yeah, and it just it, you're just stressed out. And it, sometimes it can be mentally draining. You yeah. Know? But like when you somebody left you you know guys first of all they always come back oh, and you do that especially if you to talk to me or i dated they always, always come back. back they always they come back period. it don't matter what day what time what uh -uh. year 
It, it, it might take a year, it might take a day, it might take a week, but they go come back, baby girl. I'm letting you know, dudes can't never stay away, and that is the truth. Yep. So when you go get fine, don't yeah, get fine and stuff, and you look and they come back, baby. What you gonna tell them? No. Exactly. Period. We don't no. Cause you strike one, you're out. You can if you if, if you say no, yeah, then he gonna feel like he gonna do it again. He can do it again and again and again. And, again. and you gotta put your foot down, period. Cause if you don't, these dudes gonna keep trying to come back mm -hmm. in and out your life, okay? And that's not somebody that you want, cause that's toxic. toxic. You know that's everybody's favorite word these yeah, days. I know toxic. toxic. That ain't healthy. Toxic, but it really is toxic. Yeah. But yeah, they really do. They'll come back, and if they come back, maybe sometimes it's meant to be when they come back. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, it's probably not. But but sometimes not. they probably learn they listen the first time. It just yeah. depends. It's it so just rare. Really depends. Like, yeah, it just depends on who the person Every boy you try to talk, they came back home. They came back. Every single one. Every single one. No shade. All shade. All shade. No shade. Every single boy that has ever talked to me has always came back. And if y'all want to argue, we can argue. Right. Period. Because, baby, I let me know. I let me know, period. But, really, <laughs> on some real stuff, though, y'all, really working on yourself. And yeah. Working on your image. Making yourself feel good. Not for nobody else, but for yourself. Look cute right. for yourself. You and don't worry about what nobody said about you either. And when exactly. you're going through your healing process. Exactly. And baby, if you want to eat that ice cream, eat, eat that, that ice cream, cream and then go work it out. Go work out. Because <laughs> then yeah, you want to still feel good at this. Uh -huh. We ain't even eating, no, we ate ice cream today. I know we did. Ice cream today. <laughs> Ooh, the ice cream was good. The ice cream was good. But <laughs> what do you think step two is? Uh, step two is. Blocking up. No. Wait, wait. Well, you could then block the stage if you feel like you got a block. No, on really, the like... blocking stage is really at the beginning too. Oh. Um, Cause like yeah. if somebody's really like, if you done with that person, they gonna try to like keep railing you back in. Or like so, some people's relationships are like that where they break up, make up, break up, make up, break up, and break up, break up, on and off, and that is not healthy either. That is baby. nasty. Cause I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> Y'all gonna break up at the end of the day. I know. Y'all ain't mean, gonna stay no together. It don't matter. Y'all break up twenty times. Not gonna last. Nine times out of ten, he probably cheating on you with another girl. Fifteen hundred times. Your best friend gonna tell you, sis. I just saw him at the club with Bethany, and he was rubbing their cheeks all over the cheeks. And then, he, <laughs> <laughs> baby, you better be careful. Cause let me tell y'all something. These boys do not play. You gotta keep an eye out everywhere you go. Cause they gonna be eating and try to eat y'all up. Like just try to drain you out your life. You can't have that out your life. We gotta get we gotta get good. We gotta be good. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but really though, like really on some real stuff. Sometimes you gotta block that person because they gonna keep trying to come back into oh. your life. They gonna keep railing you and railing you and railing you and railing you in till you block them. And if you get <laughs> yeah. to me, if you gotta block the number, way. but sis, I mean, if you gotta block the number and they keep calling whatever they block the number. And if they really, really, really just gotta talk to you, they'll email you. Yeah, I'm just I know, I know for real. But then they, they, they they feel like, like, I feel like I feel like I don't need to block nobody on Instagram because. You want to see it, you know. Sometimes, no, but sometimes I be blocking people. Well, I be blocking people sometimes so that they know that I'm yeah. mad at them. <laughs> I know, okay. but then I block people a couple times. Like, I don't do it no more. I just let them watch me from a distance. Yeah, now me. I just let it go. Like, baby, you finna see me like, get bad. My ex yeah. and like something like that. Sometimes you gotta block those people like out of your life, not so yeah. that they can see you, but so that you won't see them. Right. Because so, you don't need to see them. Right. Like you wanna like stay away from the situation. Exactly. So you, I mean, sometimes it's uh, blocking is necessary, uh -huh. you know, to get over somebody. Yeah. You you know, there's a lot of different things you could talk to people. Talk to if you talk be to thinking it's counselor. weird to talk to counselors or talking to a therapist, but really, some people need therapists. Yeah. I mean, it just is what it is. I had a therapist at one point for two weeks, and then. Well, I had a therapist too, and I told that lady I don't need you no more. Cause oh. then, well, I had a therapist for that. I said, you need to why are you? When I had a therapist, I had two therapists. <laughs> Don't be like me. The first time, I mean, yeah, 
my first therapist, he was cool, I guess. And I was just like, um, mm. yeah, but he was cool. I just stopped going to him because I felt like I didn't need to go, go to him no more. And then my second therapist, I didn't really care for her too much because she was just trying to like, she was trying to help me, but then at the same time, I just didn't like it. Like, I just don't like going to nobody. But I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Girl, you <laughs> stupid. What else do you think you can do um, with your boyfriend or me? Take a vacation. Yeah. yeah. Take a trip, sis. You gotta take, take a, a trip, trip and get over that. Yes. Take a trip. If you gotta be out of the United States, if you gotta be across the world, I mean, if you gotta be next door to your neighbor, hi, hey, somewhere, anywhere. take a trip, take somewhere. a trip. Okay. That's gonna make you feel better. It'll too. make you feel, feel good. Better. It'll mm -hmm. make you feel good. It'll make you feel rejuvenated. You get away from your surroundings. Uh -huh. You know, you get away from the people you know. It just is very good. Especially if y'all go to the same day. school. Or whatever, like it's the weekend. Maybe you could just go see a visit an aunt or something, or whatever. And you, y'all in high school, and y'all go to the same school. Oh, what about y'all go to the same school? Oh, heck no! Oh, heck no! Well, you go to the same school as your ex, and y'all walk past each other down the hallway. That's why you so avoid weird. your ex at all costs. <laughs> but how you gonna wait? What if? Okay, what if y'all take the same class though? Maybe you shouldn't be named nobody in your class. <laughs> I would be like, E, P, E. P, E, it's time to be P, E. <laughs> I'd be going, <coughs> I'm sick, sorry. I'm sick. Sorry. I'm just kidding. Don't yeah, I can't take you. Just close your eyes when you see them. Like, I know. If they sit next yeah. to you every time you turn your head. They'd be like, come here, come here. This my, is this my bag. This is my bag. You better move, girl. You better say, uh-uh. You be talking to Bethany or whatever the heck they name you. No, if your ex <laughs> sit right here, you sit right here. Every time you gotta turn your head, just go like this. <laughs> I know. You be like, look at me, look at me. It be like, don't touch me, don't touch me. Be like, <laughs> did you hear something? I know. Yeah, this, I'm sorry. Like me. I know it's gonna be hard, sis, but I did it like they had it to me before. Y'all, I tell y'all, I did not. I I stared at them the whole time. Like we was in that class, I looked at them the whole time. I was like, why? Why did I do that? Do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> when my two, you was in class with your ex. Was I ever in a class with my ex? Yeah. No. Really? Mm -mm. I just went to the same school. Cool. No, because my ex boyfriend, my okay, so my boyfriend, my junior year, he's my first boyfriend. He broke up with me during the summer, the junior Ooh. year. <laughs> summertime. Summertime of going to senior year, and he was going to college because he was like, I want to go have fun. <laughs> I want to go have fun. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Then I found out this thought was talking to my friend. Yeah. See, you them friends. And was dating my friend that was a grade younger than me. Oh, no. And I said, what? That's why y'all got to watch out for your friends, too. Because your friends could be Yeah, fake. and she was fake. I, she'll be taking your she, man. Are we okay now? Like, I don't have no beef with her now, obviously. I'm 21. This was, like, five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yeah. Okay. okay. Don't you ever, ever, yeah. ever, no. ever but let nobody have. Your Instagram, Instagram password, Twitter password, it don't matter. Snapchat no. password, none of that. No, none of that. No. That, that ain't that. That, that is toxic. Oh, no. That is toxic. If you guys don't have trust, you ain't got nothing. You exactly. don't need to be together. Mm -hmm. If you need somebody's freaking Instagram password, password, password then you got them. issues. And then y'all don't need to be together. Oh, they man. cheat. You just need to get exactly. over this relationship, baby. Come on now. Y'all, I used to, I had, I feel like my boyfriends in high school had all my social media account passwords. One day I was at a Chris Brown concert and my boyfriend opened up my Snapchat on my phone, like on his phone, mm -hmm. and deleted all of my Snapchats at the Chris Brown concert. And I was so mad because oh. he did. That was, well, I gotta take oh. his name out, but. <laughs> Concert were deleted because he want to go check my Snapchat. What? <laughs> See, that's how 
don't get nobody Cause I wasn't answering the phone because, because I ain't have no service in the Chris Brown concert. What? Baby. Look, if y'all ain't got trust, y'all ain't got nothing. I hated people like that. I ain't never cheated on that. That's, my that's crazy, man. And you have the audacity. Oh my man. god. The freaking the, the, the all those things. Oh, I would have probably I was too drove. Oh man. I was too drove. Yeah, I was so drove. Wait. But really, you don't let nobody have your personal information like no, that. It's no, not. Man. It's not that serious. I feel like, Be like if you people need to respect people's boundaries. I just feel like if you can't trust them to that degree, you don't need to be with exactly. them. Exactly. That's okay, right. I understand girls check phones, whatever, whatever. I don't personally do that unless you give me a reason to. Right. If you be like, if, if, ooh, if you get something, I feel like the check your phone thing too. If you give me a reason to, I'll check your phone, but... If you don't, I'm not going to. Like, I'm never going to look at nobody else's phone. I don't feel like nobody else should look at my phone. Like, we should just have that mutual respect. Right. But if I do something to where you feel like you got to check my phone, okay. If you do something, okay. But I don't think... Dang, Troy! Shut the freak up! Shut up! Shut up! Dang. Okay, so but really, I just feel like y'all just need to be on the same page. I don't. It's really, it's just super toxic for people to do things like that. And then you go searching for things that you don't want to even see. Exactly. Then you see somebody text their phone. Uh -huh. They really wasn't responding Ooh, to you know the text. text you know? Yeah, they have that little text now. You know about the text now? Yeah. What's happened? So, um, but that's for people for prepaid phones. <laughs> Oh, my back in time. I don't know. People say they, they be using text I used to app. use the text app on my little iPod. Really? Oh, yeah. was, People say they be using it to cheat now. I don't know. No, if y'all know about the text no. now, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> it don't matter. Okay. You know, like, really, honestly, don't ever let nobody have your social. If they don't trust you, they don't trust you. Mm -hmm. Get somebody else new. Right. You know, y'all don't gotta be doing all that. That's unhealthy. People start to get obsessive with that. Then they start taking your DMs uh -huh. every day. Taking Check your DMs every day. Why this boy say? And it's like, baby, I can't control what other I know. people say. No, you, I can only control what I do and what uh -huh. I say. I can't control what other people say. So I just feel like people need to respect people's, you know, boundaries and stuff like that. I think but that's just too much. But really, like, you know, anyways, that's more past mm -hmm. how to get over people. But I know. You know, it's just really, it's really about self love, self care. Yeah, make sure y'all always. It's important. At the end of the day, just love yourself unconditionally. Mm -hmm. It don't mm -hmm. matter about nobody else. You don't love nobody else more than you love yourself. Pray about it. Yes, Pray. it's important. God is, God is. What? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> my Did you start speaking in tongues? No, I'm sorry, y'all. My words didn't like. Do you have anything else to add? What I just gotta say this. God is important. God go is important. to church. If you do not go to church, Keep you will be in life freaking. It will just. It'll, it'll, it will get worse, okay? It will get freaking worse. If you go to church, you, that is. It's just gonna church, help. It's gonna help. And, and you everything like it'll that. help you mentally. And get some sage to like too. You have sage stuff too. You spray it, burn that, that freaking every boy away. And then sit on your knees like this. Okay, I don't know about all that. I don't know what she got going on. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I think that's about it. You got anything else to add? I have nothing else to say. Well, thank y'all for watching. This is how we say you get over. Oh, we don't yeah, ah! next. If you guys want to see more videos of me and Emily, let us know down we below. We, we about to make a sister YouTube channel. I need y'all to go subscribe to that. Once we make the page, if we ain't made the page yet, but you know we gonna make a page. Period. So yeah, let us know if y'all want more girl, girl talk videos. If y'all want girl talk too. video, T videos, whatever y'all want, uh -huh. let us know. We gonna do a video probably once or twice a week yeah. on our um, sister page. Uh -huh. So yeah. That's what it is. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Peace yeah. out. We out of here. Go follow her on Instagram at InstaT. And follow her at Emily's underscore ears. And you know what it is. Woo. Period. Let's get it. Let's go.